So, first corner of the day, wasn't that deep. Um, you see the swastika around here, so uh, World War II coin. I can't get really a date, maybe later. So, see you next find. Look at the beauty. The best I've ever found. It's 10 Pfennig, Deutsches Reich. 1899 and in such good condition really cool hope you can see it pretty nice really like it so yeah guys I'm sweating like a bear in the rain but um, look at that my next coin also nice condition um, the most of them are really flattened Really cool today. So it's worth it. Really cool. Eighty fifty eight. Pretty neat. So and I got a little Bronze Arsen knopf. So it's a older button. Pretty neat. So yeah, right in the corner where I found on last week Sunday the three coins and the button I found this little coin could not be old it's 1950 I guess yeah it's 1950 but in, in pretty good shape and now it flees so yeah see you next find we'll see what we get so the next one, um, it's a really toasted one, but um, take a look, it was almost a surface find, so uh, yeah, I guess it's a little bit of a hot spot here, maybe an old way or something like that, because here I found the most coins, between all coins uh, on this field, um, yeah, we will check this area slowly with slow sweep, swing and slow moving. So we'll see what we get next. So same corner as before, I got a, um, a iffy signal starting on 56 going up to almost 80. Um, and look at that, it's an old coin. That's a little bit toasted, but I hope we can see a little bit after clean up. So yeah, I guess there is an eagle on that. Well, I, I will clean it up and um, show it then to you. Give me one second. So, there is the next one. I hit him with my shovel. Oh, really good condition. So, if you watched my other few episodes, you know this are really come on here. Um, yeah, not bad at all. It's 1924, like most of them. And um, yeah, here I hit it with a shovel on this corner, but really nice. So um, yeah, we take it. Fünf Rentenpfennig Deutsches Reich. Cool. So guys, it's time again for treasure treasure. So today it's just four pull tabs and one bullet casing. And we got five coins and one old button. This old button has a little ring design on it in the middle 50 pfennig from 1950 5 pfennig from 1924 and three dateless ones this one is really old it says one pfennig and i guess it's around 1800 yeah don't know exactly need to check 
at home I have I have a few of them so yeah this is a zinc in one and this is a copper one really bad condition but hey not bad for two hours hunt and a really nice day outside so yeah so yeah I'm back home um, <laughs> like you can see like every time I'm on, I'm on my bike so um, was a really really nice hunt two hours out um, really beautiful weather and finally some free time so yeah guys uh, I arrived home and got a little drink so I um, just want to say um, thank you for watching my videos and uh, subscribe me or DM you or things like that I'm really happy to be a part of that so um, yeah that, that's first um, second is I have two things new in my setup so um, one thing is the Garrett carrot the new AT pinpointer and the other one is Garrett edge digger because I thought um, I need, need a new digging tool for small holes and things like that so first things first, um, I really like that one, so um, it's really good, so it feels a lot better than the normal Garrett Pinpointer, it does an amazing job, so um, I'm really happy to have this, so yeah, really like the Garrett Carrot, so um, the other thing is I don't like this. The first thing what happened in the first duct hole with my shovel, I was slipped inside and pressed a little bit too hard and what happened? The handle bent down. <laughs> oh my gosh, this feels like you can kill a tree with this thing and um, you bend it down. So you, you are able just with hand man's craft to bend this thing down and that, that could not have been what it's been for so um, yeah I'm really disappointed because I thought it's so heavy it, it must be um, really hard and yeah but you can see a slightly curve I will um, call my uh, my shop and ask what we want to do about that because normally I use a second, this one this is a hoary hoary and it's never bent the tip is still sharp even if I have dig between uh, rocks um, yeah it's really stable so unbreakable this thing and it costs a half from the edge digger um, only thing why I want to change was the handle because you get a better dig direction with this handle and this slip off uh, protection so um, yeah I will stick back to my hori hori it's from what the heck is it Nisaku that's made in Japan and it's a special knife for function blade so uh, really good really really good I, I guess I, I paid um, 29 euro for that for 20 maybe really unbreakable this thing the only thing is you don't have a slip of protection and um, yeah it's a little bit different but you can also put um, nice plugs off with that so yeah that's what I want to say um, thanks for the shout outs I got I really appreciate it I feel like a um, yeah like a piece of the community Greetings to the AT Pro users and the Stealth diggers, all of you. So um, nice to be a part of it. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you have a little bit fun. No silver, no gold, no rings, no jubilee, no stuff. You all want to dig, just things we dig. So um, see you later. Maybe more uh, tomorrow a little beach hunt. But um, yeah, we will see. So guys. Stay tuned, come back and always heavy hunting.